Hi, this is Professor Francis Schmidt. Uh, I'm recording a video today on how to use Firebase, which is Google's new partially free hosting service to put web content from Google Web Designer or any other source online quickly. Uh, what we're looking at here is um, this is a web page out of Google Web Designer, uh, and I can preview it. If I preview it, it's going to be running locally, which is over here. Uh, I'll reload it, and you'll see it has a moving graphic. It goes into place, has a font with text, some things like that. So I want to make this available to the entire internet. Um, I can now do that through Firebase. This is Firebase. You'll notice that since I'm logged in uh, through Google Chrome, I already have a login available on Firebase. Uh, and if you go to the pricing, this is one of the best parts, uh, free. You automatically get one gigabyte of free stuff hosted, uh, plus 10 gigabytes downloaded for putting up a website with your own um, URL that you can send people. So this is great if you want to do things like send someone a portfolio item or prove you can make web pages or it has lots of other applications too. Um, I'm going to talk us through one of their tutorials, actually this tutorial, uh, which talks about going through hosting. Um, the first thing we have to do is we have to download something called Node.js. Let me show that to you. Node.js is a, a JavaScript client. It's Google's open source JavaScript engine that lets you run JavaScript on the server, which is normally a um, client side technology, meaning Normally it runs in the browser uh, for something on a server. In this case, we're bringing it down locally. Um, download for Windows 64, uh, we'll bring that down. And actually, I've already downloaded this, but just so you could see how that would happen. There's probably a little window down here saying it's downloading. Uh, we'll push that up a little bit so you can see it. Look, there it is. I'm going to double click it. It's going to open a window and install itself. That'll take a couple seconds. Okay. First it says, do I want to run this? Yes, run it. Then welcome to the wizard. Next. Accept their terms. It's open source. Uh, C program files, that's fine. Next, next, NPM package manager, install. One of the big reasons we're installing this is that uh, Firebase needs its own utilities, which are using Node.js, in particular Node.js's package manager. A package manager is a means on Linux and Unix-based systems to figure out what software you have installed. Uh, this is going to require the command line. The command line being the old thing in computers where you actually type stuff in. Uh, click the finish button to exit. Good. We now have Node.js installed. Now, uh, if I go to my instructions here, the next thing is I have to install the Firebase CLI, command line interface, via NPM. And they give me a line for that. It's right there. Uh, if I click this, it's going to copy it. Now, where do I put that? I should have now, under here, um, I'm going to type Node.js so you see it, but a Node.js command prompt. If I click that, it's going to give me a command line interface with everything set up properly. Uh, I'm going to right mouse and paste, and that line goes in there. Node package manager, install, uh, I'm not certain what G means, we can talk about it later, Firebase tools, if I hit enter, a bunch of stuff should start happening. It will connect up to um, wherever these Firebase tools are stored. It will download them locally. It will set them up properly and allow me to do the next steps to put this website online. Ah, there it goes. The little spinning um, 
Oh, that's ugly. Is that ugly? Firebase to... Uh, your environment has moped uh, C users in uh, Firebase. Uh, okay. I'm going to say that's okay. It's not giving me any obvious errors there. Uh, so let's see what it says next. Um, CD into your project directory and run the command Firebase init. Let me show you what that means. Um, I've been saving this thing. I'm going to save this uh, as, uh, we're going to call this final. Uh, and it's a local disk test JavaScript. Okay. Now, if we go back here, I have to change my directory in this command line, which is cd, and it's going to be uh, c colon backslash. Um, let me double check. I'm going to get a file requester. This is why it's good to have short path names. Uh, I'll take this window here. And where I've been saving that is a directory called test JavaScript there. And to save myself some trouble here, I can actually just copy that path. If I go up here, I can copy like that. And then I can go back down here and control V. And I'm sorry about that. Right mouse click, paste, and hit enter. And now it should be in that directory, test JavaScript. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Um, let me do a little bit of maintenance here so you get things. Uh, yes, and actually I'll get rid of all this stuff too. Uh, delete. Okay. So if I'm there, I'm now going to, again from this tutorial, run this line, um, Firebase init. Firebase init is supposed to, in that directory, set things up so I can then start uploading. I'll show you what I mean. Firebase init. Okay, that's a good sign. It's running the software and starting to ask me questions. Am I ready to proceed? The uppercase Y means that's the default, so if I hit enter, it'll take that. Uh, what Firebase CLI features do you want to set up? Uh, we want hosting. Good. Uh, project setup. First, let's associate this project directly with a Firebase project. Yada, 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 yada. Already has a default. Uh, database setup. Firebase real-time database rules. Uh, I'm just going to hit enter, which should take the default. Uh, do you want to overwrite it? And this is probably because I did this before. You will get slightly different, so I'm going to hit yes. Uh, hosting setup. Your public directory. Where do you want to put the public directory? We'll make a folder called public. Uh, configure as a single page app. The default is no. Um, I'll take the default. Uh, OK. That should be happy now. That, that should have set everything up. If it did, and I go over here, um, the big thing I'm looking for here is something called Firebase JSON in that directory, which it made. A new thing called Firebase JSON made right at the same time, 143.10.11. Uh, and it should have given me a directory called public. This is where everything I want to put up online will live. Um, if I go here now, uh, we don't have anything running yet. Uh, and what I mean by that is um, there's, nothing, there's nothing online. To make this site go online, I have to do the last command, which is Firebase Deploy. And let me show you what will happen if I do that. Firebase uh, Deploy. Okay, it should kind of crunch a little bit. It should then upload what's in that folder, and it put a couple default files in there, and then tell me where that's going to be. Uh, this is the path to it. Uh, there should be a way I can copy and paste this thing. Uh, you know what? We'll just enter it. Um, my place, and because it has a pretty... Um, common name, that's why they have to put this kind of ridiculous thing after it, uh, 8d000 dot firebase app dot com. If I hit enter, that's what it has there. It has very little there because the only thing that's really there is this 
index.html file, which um, we'll open this with um, Notepad++ so you can see that this is just a default holder they're putting in place there. Welcome to Firebase Hosting. And this says, Welcome to Firebase Hosting. Good. This is a good sign. Now I'm going to close that page and let's put what we really want to put up here. Um, I'm right here under final. I'm going to go file save as and let me go into public and I'll save this as index.html. Uh, yes, I do want to replace that. Now what that should have just done and we will double check it is that should have now into the public directory put every file I need to run this web page, uh, assets and everything, and then rename the base one index.html, which means if I put this online now, it will now live at that web address. Uh, let's try that again. We're going to go to our command line, which is over here. Um, I'm going to use the up arrow. If I use the up arrow on my keyboard, and actually you see down here in the left, it'll show what I'm doing. If I use the up arrow, it remembers the last command I entered and lets me rerun that. I want to run Firebase Deploy again. I'm going to hit Enter. And this will take longer because it has to take all those files in the back there, mash them together, upload them. Then let's see as it does that. It will give us those little spinning things again. There it goes. Okay. If that's right, if we go to that exact same web page that we were just at, uh, no. Uh, yeah, we'll do it from here. Um, we'll try my place. There we go. We should now see. Oh, we should see. That's it. We reloaded it so it wasn't cached. It's taking a bit to download it, but there it is. This is now live on the internet for anybody to see. See that? Um, what's also worth looking at while we're here is how do we control it? If I go to my console, and this is in the Firebase app, I should have a project named My Place. I'm going to click that. I can control that project right from here. Uh, if it runs, um, if I go to hosting, is that where we go to it over here? This is showing me different versions of it. You see there's been a few others. Uh, and I can do things like I can totally delete the project if I want to take it offline. Uh, I can restart it. I can hook up a custom domain if I have my own dom domain. Um, I can do all sorts of interesting things uh, from this right here, but that's something for another video. So the important things to remember in this video are if you want to host your websites uh, using Google's free solution, um, you download Node.js. Per this tutorial, let's see where that tutorial is. Tutorial, 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 tutorial. Oh, that's not my tutorial. Oh, you know what? I'll dig the tutorial up again in one of these pages here. Uh, if I go here, Firebase, this tutorial here. Uh, you install Node.js. You run this NPM command, which installs software. You go from the command line, which is this box over here, which again we can get once we've installed Node.js from over here, or if we type in Node.js, we will see command prompt. Um, we enter the first Firebase command, which init's it, which sets up that directory ready to go, creates a public directory. We save our website into the public directory and then we do Firebase deploy and we've now served it to the internet. I hope that was helpful.